What we're going to do, we're going to look at the two components that develop on a normal corn plant. We're looking at the various root systems. These are very, very nice roots. We'll take a look at the first system. This is the um, very first root that comes out of the plant. If anything happens to this, whether it's an insect or disease, this plant will be stunted um, as you walk your cornfield and you're at knee tall, knee high corn. You can actually dig up a plant and see what condition this first root system was in. And oftentimes that will give you some indicator whether or not, well, this one was shorter because I lost my radical, I lost some of my seminal roots. This is a beautiful root system. Nice, healthy, a lot of fibrous um, root hairs here that are showing uh, good growth. We go through a transition where the plant lives on this for a period of time, generally about V3 to V4 is where you transition from this root system to the plant starting to rely on the nodal root system here. Again, you can see that this plant, we can measure this mesocotyl, it's about an inch long, maybe not quite, and add three quarters of an inch. So it looks like this was planted somewhere around an inch and a half deep. Here's our, which is great, because that positions our nodal roots well below the soil surface, is which, which is where we want, because these will carry the plant through to uh, black layer, to harvest. Um, these are just the starting roots, but they're very, very important. Um, you can see we're starting to develop nice white healthy tissue, that's good. We're starting to develop uh, some fine root hairs, that's also good. And then in another week or so, the plant will transition more fully from this root system, or from this root system, to depending totally on the nodal root system.